Hey guys, this is Stuart again, and today we are going to be having a look at logic. So, what is logic? Well, logic is the formal process of dealing with true and false statements. And we use logical processes all the time. For example, when the traffic light is green and the road is clear and safe to drive, then you can drive. Or another example could be pizza or hamburgers or both will make me happy. So any conditional scenario can be approached with logic. Basically, whenever you start a statement with if or when or while, you're using logic. So we can think about our logic flowing, following a path or multiple paths and the decisions are made by gates along these paths. There are three main logical functions that we can use to make all decisions and these are AND, OR and NOT. So our AND gate is pretty simple. This AND THAT must be true for us to go down that path. So we can Simulate this by using some gates over here and present business starting at the start. Present business wants to go from start to end. The AND logic says that both of these gates need to be open for him to get from the one side to the other. Right, so both gates need to be open, both need to be true. The next one is OR, and OR is also simple. Oh, that's not OR, that's not. The next one, OR, is simple. OR, we've got two different gates, again, and present business could go down the one side or Lucy could go down the other side and either one of these could be open to get from start to end. OR both, we can both get from start to end from this. So OR is two gates but you can get through from start to end if either one of those gates are open or if both are open. Then we get to NOT and NOT is a little bit more tricky. NOT basically is like having this freaky guy with the lightsaber and there's only two conditions here. If President Business is coming along and he's carrying a true state at the start. When he gets to this gate, he sees the freaky guy with the lightsaber and he changes his mind when he goes through it because he got scared. And so he started off true and he ended up false. If he came along and he was false, the guy with the lightsaber changes his mind and he comes out on the other side going true. So we use a not gate to invert whatever gets put in. So if the path was open and you add a NOT gate to it, then the path will be closed and the other way around. So from this, we can understand that firstly, there are only two states in logic. We've got true and false, on and off, or zero and one. And this is really what we're talking about when we talk about Boolean operations or binary. We can also represent all of this on a truth table, which looks like this. So we've got the input and the output. So that's the start and the end. Then we've got our conditions. So we don't only have to have two conditions. We could have more than that, but for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna have A and B. So that's condition one and condition two. And then we've got our logical operators here. So that's AND and OR. So, if and, at least a number A is zero, and number B is zero, the and output is going to be zero, because both of these need to be on for and gate to, to work. And, if A and B are both zero or false, or is also going to be false. Right, let's try the next one. So, if A is off, or zero, or false, and B is true, and is still going to be false, because it needs both of those to be true, but OR will output true. 
because it's saying either of these can be true for me to output true. Next one, let's have a look. We'll go A is true, B is false. The AND will also then give false, but OR will give us a true. Now we'll go um, the last one, both true true and true and will be true and or will also be true because it doesn't matter if a or b or both are true for output or to be true so this is all logical but it doesn't necessarily all make very clear sense immediately and it takes a little bit to get our heads wrapped around this but the core of what this truth table is about is to be able to describe all of the possible operations or all of the possible decisions that can be made if we have two inputs and we put it through these logical conditions. So finally, we've got one more thing that we can see with our logic gates. And we can use logic gates um, and quite easily understand them through the use of switches. So if we see these switches over here, an AND gate would be, this is condition one, and this is condition two. And if we have a look at our um, truth table here, we can see A is A and B is B, and they're currently both in a zero state. So we can see that nothing can get through when they're both off, those two switches are off. If A is off and B is on, still not going to be a path for it to get through. It's only when both of them are closed that it's going to output true. So both of this and this need to be closed for the logic gate to allow something to go from start to end. So for it to be true at the output, both of these need to be true. On the OR side of things, we can see that if A is true, then you can get from start to end. If B is true, you can get from start to end. And if both A and B are true, you can get to start from start to end. But if both A and B are not true, then OR doesn't work either. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the simulator and we're going to build examples of circuits using switches to turn on light bulbs using AND and OR logic. Have fun.